It's called Gaydar. Uh, wait, oh, that's something else. That's something else. That's when you listen to a gay man and a gay journalist. Oh, that would right, be right, right. Yeah. A couple things that you can always count on to really resonate with potential voters. One, slamming the media. Two, Wall Street fat cats and all the New York City sinful values that go along with it. Except tonight, when it got brought up on stage, it didn't go over that well with Donald Trump. Here's Ted Cruz and Donald Trump in the sixth GOP debate, the first of 2016. You know, I think most people know exactly what New York values are. I am from New York. I but, but, but you're from New York, so yes. you might not. But I promise you, in the state of South Carolina, they do. And, and listen, there are many, many wonderful, wonderful working men and women in the state of New York. But everyone understands that the values in New York City are socially liberal, or pro-abortion, or pro-gay marriage, focus around money and the media. You know, the concept of New York values is not that complicated to figure out. Uh, not too many years ago, Donald did a long interview with Tim Russert. And in that interview, he explained his views on a whole host of issues that were very, very different from the views he's describing now. And his explanation, he said, look, I'm from New York. That's what we believe in New York. Those aren't Iowa values, but this is what we believe in New York. And so that was his explanation. New York is a great place. Oh, he's got great people. Stop there. Okay. Right. So um, this, was, uh, this was a big, this was a, a I big don't, exchange. Okay, help me out here. I do not know for the life of me why he, Cruz went down this road. I, I know. See, we're very politically savvy now. I mean, maybe years ago. Politics is, is tough. I mean, it, people make politics it, is so, so hard. Most people never want to get into it. They don't want to listen to it. They shut it out because it's easy to shut it off. And that's why people don't ever bring up politics in conversations and family events or whatever. But uh, here's what I can tell you about politics. There's so many ways to make mistakes. You go down. It's like you have you're at a fork of the road. But instead of going right or left, you have like. 500 roads to go down and only like three or four of them don't lead to ruin <laughs> you gotta you gotta weave your way to the right lane out of this 500 yeah the 500 exits to get That's off right that. you're at the oh, highway you're oh, at a major oh, interchange oh, right man. and uh and and if you're if you go down the wrong exit you're gonna be late to work might get fired Oh, you will get fired, fired. flat <laughs> out. Fired. You'll get fired. So, um, I, clearly, once he started saying all this stuff, I mean, if it's a very, it's a much nicer way of saying that all I care about is the fifty-one percent, which is what Romney right. did. That really put a hurt okay. on him. Now, I want to back this up, folks. Um, I've been to New York. And, so have I. And, 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 <laughs> And I, I've got no reason to go back. I'm just telling you that much right now. It was it was like going to um, any other attraction. There's stuff that you'll see there that you just won't see anywhere else, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, no, absolutely. And it's not. I don't know in New York. That's not my town. It's not the kind of thing I like. That's not what I'm into. I agree with some of what uh, Cruz has said. I know. I know why he went down that road okay i agree with some of the things that he said that the media the culture the cor the corruption the crime the the, the liberalism the, the liberalism and they are definitely i mean when you elect uh de blasio who's mm, good point who's mm. whose campaign sign is red and yellow and has a hammer and sickle on it and a star right and you elect and says the letter c-o-m-m -M <laughs> right Right. When you elect that right after, you know, the the loser that just left? Wow. Okay, so that, that wasn't uh I it may have been Hannity. Hannity said, "Uh, we're talking about a town that elected a freaking communist." And, and so I agree. I agree. However, however New York City, it's New York. New York in their mind is the capital of America. Of the universe. 
this is probably true too. Yeah, the capital of the universe. They start the yeah. media, they start the stories, the New York Times creates the stories, and the rest of the country resonates and echoes New York. Yeah, he New York insult- doesn't care about anybody in the world but themselves. What was the what was the quote? Don't get into a fight with somebody that buys ink by the barrel. I mean, that's literally what Cruz said. Yes. Totally. The whole freaking city owns the means with which to get the information out to the world. Okay. Well, I'll tell you this now. I'll tell you this. Now. Did you see the the front page of the New York Post? I did not. It's it's like one of those tabloid kind of oh, okay. square. It's a square thing that, that's at the uh, the checkout stand. Okay. You know, Obama's got cancer and dying could be dead in days. <laughs> stuff, stuff like I love it. Stuff, stuff like that, right? Right, right. Okay, front, fr- huge front page. It's got a big, giant picture of the Statue of Liberty. Okay. And it's got a little picture of Ted Cruz. Okay. And the headline says, drop dead Ted. Oh, boy. The Statue of Liberty has her arm reached throughout the page to Ted with her middle finger at him. Wait a minute. They did a middle finger on a newspaper? I'm telling you, I've got it. Where little kids could walk by that and see that? Yes. This is New York. Yeah, but the New York Post could be available outside of New York. (laughs) He's looking. Okay, I'm just frantically. I'm just. Look, here it is. And that was the, on a the, newspaper? Oh, the, da- the Daily News. Oh, the Daily News. But that's uh, from New York. Yes. Of course it is. Why would they have? <laughs> yeah, there's a big old middle finger made out of copper. <laughs> <laughs> Green copper, that is. You copper that's oxidized a little bit. Uh, right. <clears throat> okay. Or is it bronze? Is it made out of, It's made out of copper. It and bronze? it says, hey, know. Cruz, you don't like New York values? Go back to Canada. Oh, boy. What are they, a bunch of birthers over there in New York? <laughs> Apparently, this this news magazine isn't very expensive. It claims to be New York's hometown newspaper. Oh, okay. So right there at the title, Daily News, New York's hometown newspaper. That's for the locals. It's for the locals, so it's a dollar. And I guess they don't care if kids see that on the newsstand. No! Huge middle finger at Ted. Drop dead Ted. Big, big, bold, giant letters. What's what's that say on the side there? Uh, Oh! Trump could have cancer dead within days? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> the, there, the, actually, there was uh, <laughs> Cuomo flip-flops on $800 million city hit. Other okay. than that, no. Um, so, yeah, drop dead Ted, big giant middle finger. Wow. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, I mean, Cruz walked down that road, and I I did, as, as a person who can hear the dog whistles and know how to avoid the millions of pitfalls of politics there was something that just didn't sound right when he was attacking okay, new yorkers like that now and it was prejudice too because it's not a hundred percent democrat voters in new york there's a percentage of republicans who vote republican in new york right and whether let me let me tell you this when i was in new york city and we were driving around in manhattan guess what the big event was in Central Park. I, it just blew my mind. It, it really changed my whole um, opinion of New York City. Right in Central Central Park, okay. they had a free concert, and it was completely sold out. It was like hundreds of thousands of people there, jam packed. Couldn't even get any more, get in anymore because it was sold out. Garth Brooks, huh? And it was all over the radio. The local radio was gushing over the fact that they have garth brooks there and everybody's so excited about him being there and can't wait to hear his music country yeah garth brooks garth are you he is an icon in new york city i mean you know how country folk are country singers they're a bunch they're of very conservative they're a bunch of uh confederate flag waving <laughs> I've, racist, I will homophobic, right, right? All of the above, sexist, America loving. They love America. They they go into the bars with the the sawdust on the, and the chicken wire and all the above. Right, all the peanuts are thrown on the floor. Right. So when they walk, it's like <laughs> it smells like beer. 
spilt beer. There's always brawl fights and oh, fighting yeah. and brawl. Right, right. So when you, um, yeah, it was. I would have never guessed. In fact, me not knowing anything about New York until I visited, it was probably a, a shock. It was a shock to me. I was like, "What? Garth Brooks? Andy sold out?" I would have thought if somebody said, "Hey, Garth Brooks, he's gonna he's gonna perform a free concert in Central Park." I would have thought, oh, gosh, that's going to be a flop. That's a bad venue. Not only that, he bad might get venue. shot. <laughs> if not shot, he's going to be like, there's gonna, you can hear the crickets. You're right over the music. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. No, it was absolutely, there was like traffic jams from people trying to get there. Wow. Crazy. Okay, so, well, I mean, take it for that. I, I mean, there are people in New York. I mean, if, if you at will. New York is a huge state, and New York City is, you know, what At one it is. point, there was 12 million people within the city limits of New York City. Okay. So I down about nine. There is now. a lot of land and open land and conservatism. I know he's attacking New York City values, and maybe people outside of the city. Yeah, the city's corrupt and dirty, but he's making fun of New York. I don't know. He's like, he's attacking. I would venture to guess that most of the conservative people in rural New York would probably say, yeah, Cruz is right. Those guys are a bunch of scumbags. Hey, I may hate, I may, I may love my state and I may have no problem with New York City, but you know what? He's right. right. Their values are different than mine. I'm in the country. But you don't go attacking that, like you say, people that buy ink by the barrel. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna. They're gonna. Well, they're pissed. Okay. They are flat out pissed. Well, you know who else is pissed? Donald Trump. Okay. Oh, d- you mean Trump is gonna pissed. win the state of New York based on New York City alone? Oh, you, that, yeah. After his the after c- his comment, Here's- the city is the reason why the state is blue. Right. So, Trump comes back. People. It's got loving people, wonderful people. When the World Trade Center came down, oh, he's I saw something that no place on earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. You had two, one hundred... Yeah. You had two, one hundred and ten story buildings come crashing down. I saw them come down. Thousands of people killed. And the cleanup started the next day, and it was the most horrific cleanup probably in the history of doing this and in construction. I was down there, and I've never seen anything like it. And the people in New York fought and fought and fought, and we saw more death and even the smell of death. Nobody understood it, and it was with us for months, the smell, the air. And we rebuilt downtown Manhattan, and everybody in the world watched, and everybody in the world loved New York and loved New Yorkers. And I have to tell you, that was a very insulting statement that Ted made. Uh, it may okay. have been a little gratuitous. Okay, okay. And you know, hey, did you hear Glenn Beck the next morning? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Before you go, Glenn Beck. Before you go, Glenn Beck on me. Uh, in the last show, uh, you know that I said the only way that Glenn Beck will be brought up on this show is by Carrie. No more longer by me. Jeez. So anyways, you, is that why we got a bad review? <laughs> so, 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 um, uh, Donald Trump hit the nuke button. He said, I am going to nuke you by not talking about what you just said. Because what you said may or may not be true. I don't know. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put you in a hole. And I'm going to shove you in that hole and everybody is going to rally around what I'm saying and not what you're saying because I'm going to invoke 9-11. I'm going to pull up the emotions, the dead, the smell. And honestly, I, I forgot all about that. The smell of dead bodies for months. Well, and you know, smell is a very interesting uh, sense. Because it's the closest, the the part of your brain that is uh, responsible for processing smells is closer to the part that processes memory than any other thing in your brain. That's why when you smell certain things, 
it brings back memories that instantly. you may not, yeah instantly that you may not have thought of for a really long time. What, they and so when he yeah. he actually mentioned smells twice. Yes, he yeah, hammer it home. And I think that he wanted to make sure, just in case y'all forgot nine eleven. <laughs> I want to remind you of what it smells. 